Do you want to learn how to build a portfolio or a mini website just like this one for your freelancing business? For free on Canva, let me show you how. Just go to canva.com and type website. Here you have different templates you can choose from. Some are paid, while some are free. I'm using the free version of Canva, so search for a free template we can use. All right, let's use this one. You want to click on customize this template. Okay. So this is really quick and easy. So let's start from the logo. If you have a logo, you can put that here. I think I have a logo saved somewhere. All right, let me check it out. Hmm. Here we go. Start. I'm just going to resize this and paste it. Too tiny. Yeah, I think this is better. Change this to your name Oops. to bold let's say hmm, content creator replace this with your photo this is just this, okay? <laughs> Replace this with contact me. Now I'm going to come back to this and show you how you can hyperlink this to your email. Let's move on. You can replace this with a photo as well. About me, you write something about yourself. You can change the color of this background to let's use blue. Ugh, I don't like it. Better, much better. Okay, let's move on. So, for this section, you can either leave it this way skills and services. Or you can just use only services and take up the scale, whatever works for you. If you want to use just the services, then you just take off the skills. Oops. Take off the skills. Moving on to the next section, let's change this to the previous color. Yes. Now, if you don't have any client testimonials and you've watched my video on virtual assistant, where I mentioned that you need to do some pro bono work, <laughs> free services to friends and families or not-for-profit organizations, in exchange for a review now if you've done that you impute all the testimonials here another way you can go about this if you don't want to use client testimonials on your portfolio is to impute samples of your work all you need to do is to replace client testimonials with let's say my sample works or what i have done let's duplicate this page Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's call this 
sample works and with this All right, then go to elements, search for any element that will represent what you're trying to portray. Let's just use this for the sake of this tutorial. Okay. Just be creative about it. And let's use this as well. Okay, and finally, let's make it free. Boom. Okay, here we go. So how do you hyperlink this? All you need to do is right click, click on link, and insert the link so for this tutorial i'm going to use the link to my youtube channel <laughs> okay here we are enter we're going to test this out much later so let's just take off this client testimonial okay Let's move on to the last page where you get to impute your contact details so that clients can get in touch with you. So you can change this to your photo or you can leave it blank if you like and impute your phone number and email address and that's it. Take this off. So let's go back to contact me. I had already showed you how to use hyperlinks. <laughs> All right, so you just right click, click on links, and impute your email address on a fan at gmail.com. Enter. Is your portfolio or your mini website is ready before we publish it let's rename it to my portfolio okay all right so you can also preview before you publish and this is what it's going to look like this is what it's going to look like on desktop yeah so you have to resize it on mobile by clicking this box we'll also see what that looks like this is desktop view let's click on mobile this is what it's going to look like when somebody views your website on mobile using their mobile phone this is what it's going to look like yeah I like it I don't like this yeah this is distorted if you're okay keeping it this way then that's fine but personally I am NOT if I'm going to use this for myself I'm going to untick this and this is what it will look like on mobile I think I prefer this to this it all depends on what you want but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to leave it this way. All right. <laughs> okay. So we're done without navigation, with navigation, without navigation. We want to use navigation. With navigation, this is what navigation is. This three dots you always find on websites. So this is what the navigation is. That's it. So the home, the about, background, feedback, and contact. Can we edit this? So you know from the template we used, it was client's testimonial. That's why we have feedback here. But we changed that to sample works. All right, contact. So whatever you want to use with or without is totally dependent on you. 
Moving on, let's publish our website, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is a very important information. We're using Canva site to design this website. So it's going to be your name dot canvasites.com. If you're publishing with free domain, publish to a Canva domain, that's what you're going to get. Or you purchase a new domain, buy a new domain through Canva, use my existing domain. Now, if you click on this, click on continue. So if you've bought a domain from another company, you can connect it to your Canva website but it's only available to canva pro users so if you're using canva pro and you have your personalized domain name then you can use this feature but i am using the free version of canva so we're going to be using the free one all right free domain continue this is what it's going to look like it's mfonakban.my.com canva.site slash my portfolio. Can I edit this? Oops, I can't. Let's just leave that there. You can write a brief description of your website. Here, you can also protect your website by enabling this password protection. You can hide your website from search engines, but I won't advise you to do that. So once you're done with all of this optimization, you click on publish. Wait for it. Voila, your website is now live. Okay, you can copy your URL and use it on your social media platforms. Add it to Instagram, to Facebook, share it to your clients add it to your cold emails, send it to friends and families. Now let's view our website. This is what we have. Hey, this is what our website looks like on desktop. This is the navigation about takes you to about, background, takes you to services, feedback, takes you to sample works, contact, takes your client to your contact. Now let's test our hyperlinks. This is the one we used hyperlink on, which would direct us to my YouTube channel. Now let's test our hyperlink. Our hyperlink worked. So when a client click on your hyperlink, it takes the client to your work, your article, your design, your content, video content, audio content, written content, whatever job you've done in the past, this takes the client to it. All right, so this is what our website looks like on desktop. I am going to open this with my phone and share it with you what it looks like on mobile yeah let's test a hyperlink it work <laughs> voila here we go so there you have it friend how to design your portfolio or a mini website on canva for free if you have any questions kindly leave them in the comment section and i will definitely get back to you if you find value in this video kindly give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and families and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel i hope you finally make the decision to do so thank you so much for watching this video thank you for your time i will see you in the next one Thank you.